Hey there! Don't change that channel. You're in the right place. This is Hike Over the Hill, and I am Jedi, coming to you from the thriving metropolis of Rochester, New York, as always. Now, you're not seeing me because this is an instructional video. I'm going to be showing you how to tie the cords on your ursac. Now, there are other videos out there showing you how to do this, including uh, one from the nice folks at ursac themselves. Uh, I just think that um, this is going to be a little bit more clear for some of you who are having a hard time wrapping your head around how this works. Um, also, before I get started, you are going to need a carabiner, ideally, for this uh, to work. Um, I would shy away from using these little tiny ones like this. This is just too tiny and flimsy, and it's just... This, this end is too narrow, and it could potentially get pulled into the knot, and you'll see what I mean uh, once I start showing you how that works. So you don't want the little tiny guys like this, I don't think. Um, the, about the smallest you can get away with, in my opinion, would be something like this. Uh, this one's fairly sturdy. Um, it's, it feels like aluminum. Um, I would not go anything smaller than this. Um, another idea, I've used uh, stuff like this. This is a, a locking carabiner. So, you know, the, the gate opens like so. And then when it's closed, you can screw this little collared thing on there, and now you can't, it won't open, right? Until you unscrew it again, and then it, and then it opens again. So you could use one of those. It might be a little bit overkill, but if you're really worried about uh, critters, that's a possibility. Uh, I'm going to use this one for the AT. A um, couple reasons. I'm It's fairly light for a carabiner this size. This is... Um, uh, a Night Eyes is the brand name, and I'm not a, affiliated with them. I don't know if you can see that, Night Eyes right there, Night Eyes. Uh, this is uh, Slide Lock number four size. So it's called Slide Lock because it has, let me show you here against the white background, it has this little black uh, rubber thing that slides up and down. Once that's in the, the, the down position, this won't open anymore. Like I can push on it, that won't open. Uh, I gotta slide that up in order to get the gate open again. So it just gives you a little bit of extra uh, security, peace of mind that that's not going to pop open. Um, and it's also fairly sturdy uh, aluminum. Um, <clears throat> and you want a bigger size, and here's why. Let me, let me take this off. This is the cord lock. <laughs> you may remember this from my episode where I showed you how to make an ursac rain cover. Uh, that's what this is. That, that's to secure the bottom of the rain cover closed. Uh, I just keep it on the carabiner so this doesn't get lost. So I'll set that aside. We're not going to need that for this project. Uh, but a, a, a carabiner this size is great because you can get your two fingers in there and really get some leverage if you need to pull that knot open. Uh, now the knot I'm going to show you is, is not one I invented. It's the one that the Ursac folks came up with. And I've used it and it works great and I highly recommend it. Uh, it does take a little bit of practice to master, but it's really simple in its uh, conception and it's fairly simple to show you. But in the event that, that you tie it wrong or it really gets knotted up good or maybe an animal's pulling on your bag and it just tightens up that knot or it rains and maybe the cord these cords swell uh, with the rainwater and it makes it harder to, to undo this will this will allow you to get your fingers in there and really pull to give you some leverage whereas you know a little little guy like this you know you can maybe get one finger in but you know <laughs> it's a little, a little trickier um, but feel free to use something like this if that's all you have but uh, i would recommend getting something a little bigger like this uh, the other thing you can do in a pinch this is not ideal. Um, you're going to need something to go to pass through one of the loops of this knot, and you'll see, see you'll see how that works in a second here. You could, in a pinch, if you lose your carabiner or it breaks or something, um, <clears throat> you could use a stick, uh, a fairly sturdy stick. You want something, uh, I would say, the diameter of at least a broom handle, and you want something that's not brittle and dry, and not something that's uh, you know rotting and soft. You want something that's you know, maybe a green stick that's not going to snap easily. Uh, don't tear one off a tree, whatever you do. Uh, find one on the ground and then, you know, break off a, a, a piece maybe uh, six to eight inches long. And uh, you can use that in a pinch. But, you know, use the carabiner uh, when you can. So I'll set the carabiner aside for a moment here while I show you. So here's my Ursac. This is the uh, Ursac Major XL. So this is the extra large version of the Ursac. Now a couple things I'll point out. I know it's black and it's a little hard to see. Um, but the cord comes through and it does a crisscross here, okay? So the cord runs all the way through around the perimeter and it comes out here and you always want there to be a crisscross pattern here. Let me see if I can show, show it to you against the tabletop. So the, the two cords are crisscrossing. I don't know if you can see that. 
so in other words, the cord comes out, you know, one comes out on the left, one comes out on the right, and they go across the two holes on the other side. You want the one that comes out on the right to go to the left hole, and the one that comes out on the left to go to the right hole, so that when you snug this up, uh, there's a crisscross pattern. If you can see that, that crisscross pattern, that's an X. See how it's an X right here? Okay, that's what you want. You want them crisscrossing in an X pattern uh, before you do anything else. You also want to make sure that these two cords here are about the same length. Uh, they don't have to be exact, but um, about the same length. So let's pretend we have our ursac full. Okay, so it's it's time to tie it. So the first thing we have to do, of course, is we have to cinch it closed because you know it's open. It's open as it is with that X pattern. I'm just going to take these and I'm going to pull the two ends. And you'll notice what happens here is you, you wind up with two two kind of holes here, right? Wait, where is it? Oh. Okay. Sorry, one was kind of scooting underneath the other. I want to try to do this in a way that is easy for you to see. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of manipulate it a little bit just to make sure that you can see what I'm talking about here um, for illustrative purposes. You wouldn't normally have to fiddle around with it like this, but you can see kind of how I got, there's a hole here and a hole here. It starts to look like, uh, to me, it looks like a pig snout. Uh, once it starts getting tight, okay? So you don't have to tighten it up all the way at this point. You just kind of snug it up a little bit to take the slack out. Next, you're gonna take your cords and you're just gonna do an overhand knot, just like when you're tying your shoes, right? A simple overhand knot, okay? Like, let me try to get this so you can see it in the, the, the light background there, okay? I'll do it again, just so you can see, all right? I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna tie an overhand knot. Just flop one end over the other. Then, here's the key. I'm gonna do it again, flop it over one more time, okay? Uh, that's a double overhand knot. It's also sometimes called a surgeon's knot. I guess that's what surgeons use when they stitch up a patient, I don't know. But you're gonna, you're gonna pull that together and it's, it's gonna you know, kind of bunch up on itself a little bit. And I'm just gonna tighten this up now. Okay, I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna tighten it up and you, you wanna keep, keep those, little, those little loops there nice and neat, okay? Keep it nice and neat looking, keep everything nice and neat. And as I pull, I'm going to pull one side, pull the other side. I'm going to pull it tighter and tighter, as tight as I can get it, pretty much. Nice and snug. So that these two little holes, these two little gaps, okay? I can't even see the other one. One went underneath the other side. Uh, you don't want to be able to get anything in there. So I can kind of get my fingertip in there a little bit. Uh, if you can get your finger in there, then a, then a mouse can get in there. So just keep tightening these up, back and forth, back and forth. Get them good and tight, okay? Um, once you've got those tight, now comes the fun part. So I'm gonna lay this out. And by the way, the Ursac does not come with uh, this reflecting sticker or this reflecting sticker. I put these on myself. It's just a plain black bag when you get it. So we've got our Ursac. This is, this is what I do even before I get to the tree that I'm gonna tie this to, okay? Now I'm doing this kind of backwards and upside down so that you can see, so bear with me here. But here's the idea. You're just going to take this short end here and you're going to lay it over the rope like that. That's all. That's all I did. I just picked this up, the short end, and lay, lay it over itself. That's all. I'm going to do the same with this side. Uh, in fact, I'll do it backwards on this one. Okay? Lay it over itself. Like that. Okay? That's it. I just take the short end, lay it over itself. That's it. Now here's the key. This is where the magic happens. You're going to take this loop, alright? I'm going to hold it together with my thumb, and you're going to fold it over onto the, the long the long part here. Let me move so, I can, so you can see. So I've got, let me, let me do this again. I, I wanna make sure you can, you can see what I'm doing. I fold that over onto itself, right? It's just a loop. Then I take the loop, I'm holding it together, and I'm going to fold it onto the long part that attaches to my ursac, okay? So now I have, I can see the long part here. So I got my loop and I just fold it on top. I'm going to grab that long end and I'm going to pull a little bit of a loop through, okay? So I got a little bit of a loop through and I take the short end and I just tighten it up. And now I have a slip knot, okay? So this, this can slide up and down. I can shorten up my loop, right? Here's my loop. See how small it is now? Or I can pull on my loop, make it as big as I want, okay? Here's the key with this knot. You want to make sure that the long end, or I shouldn't say long end, the end leading to the, the sack, not the loose end, not this, this part. This part is what makes that loop bigger and smaller. Watch, see this loop's getting smaller? And when I pull the loop again this way, 
it's it's pulling on this. This this part is not getting smaller or longer. It is the part that attaches to the ERSAC. That's the part you want to uh, be adjusting the loop. Okay, see this part. This part didn't change. The loop changed because this part that goes to the sack. That's the key to this this knot. Now, I'm going to do the same with the other side. So you're going to see it again. So I've still got my little loop here, right? So here we go again. You take this, I got my short end, and I'm just going to loop it onto itself. Just lay it, uh, that's all it's doing. I'm not tying anything. I'm just laying it onto itself, okay? Short end, I got a little loop. I'm going to hold on to this, right? I'm going to pinch my fingers around it to keep the loop together, right? And I'm going to fold it onto itself. Now, you have to do that with the short end on top. So the short end is laying on top, and then I'm, take, I'm holding onto that loop, and I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to fold it onto itself, onto that, that long part that goes to the ursac, okay? So now it's laying on top, and now I can reach through the loop and grab that long part that runs to the ursac, right? And I'm going to hold on to the short end so I don't lose that, that, that loop, and I'm just going to pull. Okay, now I got another loop, just like on this side, right? I got two loops, and both loops are adjusted by the part that runs to the ursac. So my hand, I'm sorry, my hand's in the way here. Let me... Do it like this, so I can adjust the loop, make it bigger. And you see, this is my my short end. That's not changing size. That's not involved in the in the loop at all. So I make that loop smaller. It's all coming from the ursac part. This part is not involved. So I'm going to do this again on both sides. I'll do it a little more quickly so we can move along. The the key here, one of the keys is you want to have as little short end uh, left over as possible when you're done because that's going to give you as much uh, length to get around the tree as possible. If you've got, if, if your loops are way down here, right, let me, let me do it real quickly, I'll just show you again. If my loops are, are way down here, um, I can do this really quickly because I've done it so many times. Okay, this is, this, this is right, but look, I, this is what's got to get around the tree. I mean, I'm going to have a tree that's what, the size of, you know, the size of my wrist, <laughs> you know, a little tiny tree I'm going to get this around. Okay, you want these loops way back by the end of the uh, of the cord. Okay, so I'm gonna do them again. Flip that loop. I'm gonna keep this this real short this time, real short. And I'm gonna do a tiny little loop. I'm gonna loop it, uh, fold it onto itself, and I'm gonna pull through the long part, and I'm gonna just tighten it up. So I got my loop like that. See, I've got this little short piece is now really, really, really short. That's gonna give me more length here. Uh, for getting around the tree. I'll do the same on this side. Just take this, loop it on itself, right? And then fold it over onto the part that leads to that ursac and then pull that part through, pull that knot. And that one I didn't do as short. Let me do that again. I'm trying to look up in the camera and do things backwards here so it's a little wonky for me to try to show you how to do this. So I'm gonna do a little, little tiny stub of the open end, right? I just laid it on top of itself, a little tiny stub there. Take that loop, fold it onto the part that goes back to the other sack and pull that, that other cord through, and there we go. I got my loop. All right, this one's still a little bit on the long side, but it's fine for illustrative purposes. So I've got my two loops. So I'll shoot another video where I actually take this out in one of my trees in my yard, and I'll show you how to get it around the tree and some other uh, tips I have. The idea, what you're going to do is, all you're going to do is, you're going to put one loop through the other, okay? So I've got my two loops, I'm going to put one loop through the other, and once I've got that loop through, you don't go past this knot, okay? So you just want the loop to go through up to, up to just before the knot, okay? So, I don't know if you can see that, okay? Got my two loops, I'm going to put one loop in, but I'm going to stop short of going past the knot. The, the loop that you pass it through, that's the one you're going to tighten up. I'm going to tighten it up around that other loop. So, so it's kind of strangling this other loop. So I've, I've lost my one loop, right? This loop is now tightened up around the base of the other loop, okay? So now the idea is if I take my carabiner and I clip it through that loop, now I can pull, watch, see, see that loop? Let me lengthen it again so you can see. Right, there's there's my loop with a carabiner through it. I'm going to tighten up that loop. Boom. But that loop cannot pass through the knot because the carabiner is stopping it. That's the point of the carabiner. So now I can pull, I can pull 
as hard as I want, and that knot is not coming out, right? So you're thinking, well, so what? I could just tie a knot around a tree. What's all this with the loops and the carabiner? What's that? What's the point of all that? Here's the point of all that. What happens in the morning if you're not, you can't get your knot out? Maybe your hands are cold, your hands are sore, or they're tired. Uh, maybe it rained and the, the cord absorbs some moisture. Uh, maybe a bear did try to get into your sack and was yanking on it all night and really pulled the, that knot tight that you made. Well, you're going to have a hell of a time getting that knot undone. The whole point of this is to make it real easy to undo in the morning. So here's all you do. Take the carabiner out, right? Slip that out. And now I pull those two ends. They come right apart. And I pull that loop out. And I pull that loop out. And I'm done. That's how, that's how easy it is. Literally, from the moment you get to your ursac to the moment you're carrying it back to camp is like five or ten seconds. It's literally, take out the carabiner, pull the two knots apart, undo the two ends, and you're done. There's no untying of a knot. You're just pulling on the two ends, and they're popping out on their own. It's a slip knot that comes apart on its own. So I'll go through it all one more time for you, okay? Illustrative purposes here. There's the top of my ursac. Here's my, my cords. I've got, I've got it, the uh, surgeon's knot, the double overhand knot, already snugging that up real good. Now, I'm going to take this, fl just flop it over on top, right? Just flop on top. Take that loop and lay it down on top of the part that goes to the ear sac, and then pull it through and tighten, tighten the short end. And now I've got my loop, my first loop right there. Same one here. Flopping that over on top. Right? That's all it is. It's just looped on top of itself like that. And then I take it and I fold it over on top of the part that goes to the air sac and I pull that through and I pull that knot and I've got my loop. That's my second loop. Okay? Then I take my two loops. I'm going to, I don't know the best way to show you this. Maybe I'll do it a little closer this time. So I've got my two loops. I'm going to pass one loop through the other loop. Doesn't matter which one at all. Okay? I'm just going to pass it through like this. Okay, but I'm not going to go past the knot, right? Here's the knot where my fingers are. I'll keep my fingers right there by the knot to remind myself, don't go past the knot, stay in front of the knot, okay? So now that I've got that loop on there, this loop right here, the loop that is around the other loop, that's the one I'm going to tighten. So this is, this is the one that's, this one's going around this loop. So this one, I'm putting it over that loop, right? Not going past the knot, right? It's just like that. And now I'm going to tighten that, that oops, I gotta hold on to the other loop. So I'm gonna tighten this loop around the other loop. Tighten it like that. So now that first loop is right here. It's right at the base of the other loop, okay? It's tightened around the base of uh, this loop. Right here. In fact, I could slide, see that loop will slide off. Here it is. I could slide it right off the end. And that's why this works, because this, this will come apart on its own, okay? I want to keep that down by the base, but not past the other knot. I want to make sure it's nice and snug around there. You want it gripping onto that, onto that loop, okay? And now, because this loop will pull out too, I can pull on this and make that loop go away. It'll just pull right out, and this whole thing will fall apart. But that's what the carabiner does. It prevents this from falling apart. I put that carabiner through. Now when I tighten that loop up, it stops. The carabiner prevents it from pulling through itself and coming undone. And now I've got a knot that they ain't coming out, okay? Um, there's no critter on earth that's going to pull that out. Uh, maybe something could chew through this cord after working on it for a long time. This is a, I think it's called spectra cord. It's like a bulletproof uh, material or something. It's high density material. Um, but, th but that's it. So now you got it around the tree and you're, you're good to go for the night and you come back in the morning. You just pull that carabiner out, right? Open up my uh, carabiner clip, pull that out. And then I literally Yank the two, the two lengths that go back to my ursac, pull those, and that just came out, right? And each of these now I can grab and pull out. There, that one's gone, and that one's gone. And that's it. You're done. That's how easy this is. I hope that was useful to you. Uh, um, check out the other video I have of tying it around the tree. Uh, it'll be outside. Uh, maybe the, the light will be a little better. I also have another ursac that has white cord. So maybe I'll shoot the, that other video with the white cord so you can maybe see a little better on that one. But I hope this was useful to you. If it was, uh, please subscribe. 
and uh, that lets me know that people are enjoying my videos and uh, I'll be inspired to make more of them and put more time into them and make them a little more professional looking. Okay, thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the trail. Bye-bye.